Hi students, this particular video is an extension of uh, the previous video that is uh, the terms involved in the UV visible spectroscopy. So in that uh, first uh, I have explained uh, about the chromophore in detail and oxochrome in detail. So in this particular video we are going to focus on uh, the four types of shifts, four types of shifts uh, which may take place in the unsaturated molecules whenever it is irradiated with the UV visible radiation. So whenever the UV visible radiation is uh, irradiated on the unsaturated molecule then uh, four types of uh, shifts are possible in the molecule. The one is batochromic shift or a red shift and the second one is a hypsochromic shift or blue shift. Third one is a hyperchromic shift. And the last one is hypochromic shift. So among these four, the first two, that is the batochromic or red shift and hypsochromic or blue shift corresponds to absorption maximum. Corresponds to absorption maximum. Whereas the second two, that is a hyperchromic shift and hypochromic shift uh, corresponds to intensity of absorption maxima. Intensity of absorption maxima. So now let us start with uh, the first one that is bathochromic or uh, red shift. Bathochromic or red shift. Now what is bathochromic or red shift? Bathochromic or red shift. This is an effect. This is an effect by virtue of which, by virtue of which, absorption maximum, by virtue of which, absorption maximum, that is lambda max, absorption maximum, shift towards longer wavelength, shift towards longer wavelength, so shift towards longer wavelength. It is an effect by virtue of which, absorption maximum of the molecule will shift towards longer wavelength. Now we know that there are seven colors in uh, the visible radiation. There are seven colors in visible radiation that is BIBGR, BIBGR. That is shift towards longer wavelength means shift towards uh, red. Shift towards red. So since uh, during this particular shift, since during this particular shift, uh, absorption maxima, that is lambda max of the unsaturated molecule is shifting towards uh, the longer wavelength, shifting towards the red side. This particular bathochromic shift is also called as a red shift. This particular uh, bathochromic shift is also called as a red shift. So this particular bathochromic shift uh, can be explained uh, by the addition of uh, the oxochrome. So whenever the oxochrome is uh, added to the unsaturated monomeric unit or unsaturated molecule or chromophore, then uh, already we know that conjugation increases. When the conjugation increases, then obviously lambda max increases. So for an example, for an example, let us take the benzene molecule. So benzene molecule, I have represented uh, uh, the pi bonds with uh, the blue color. So if we see the benzene molecule, the absorption maxima of the benzene molecule is 255 nanometers. Now whenever we carry out the nitration, whenever we carry out the nitration first with the help of nitrating mixture, that is a combination of nitric acid and sulfuric acid, followed by reduction with tin iron HCl tin iron HCl, then uh, this particular benzene converts to anilin. Benzene converts to anilin. Benzene converts to anilin. So I am going to represent uh, the double bonds by blue color only. Double bonds by blue color. And now NH2 moiety has been introduced into the benzene molecule with the help of nitration followed by reduction. Right. 
nitration by the nitrating mixture and reduction by tin HCl. Right. Now, if you see, this benzene is an unsaturated molecule. Everyone is aware of it. Now, it contains how many double bond strings? It contains uh, one, two, three. So, three double bonds. So, each double bond comprises the two pi electrons. So since each double bond comprises the two pi electrons and as there are three double bonds in the benzene molecule, it comprises six pi electrons. So six pi electrons are present in this. Six pi electrons. That is six electrons are involved in conjugation. Six electrons are involved in conjugation. Now coming to the aniline. Now here, so, by the nitration followed by the reduction, whenever the NH2 oxochrome has been introduced uh, onto the chromophore. Now, NH2 group is extra. Now, nitrogen belongs to fifth group. So, since nitrogen belongs to fifth group, uh, around uh, it, uh, five electrons will be part of. Now, out of the five electrons, uh, two are participating in bonding with uh, the two hydrogens. And one is participating in bonding with the one of the carbon of the benzene. So three are over. And there is one, one non-bonding pair of electrons. Now there is one non-bonding pair of electrons. Let us represent that with the blue color blue. So now there is one non-bonding pair of electrons. Non-bonding pair of electrons. Now as this non-bonding pair of electrons or the nitrogen containing non-bonding pair of electrons is directly attached to the benzene nucleus. We can say that this amino group on the benzene nucleus in the aniline is ring activating group. So since it is the ring activating group, what it will do? It will, that is, whatever the lone pair of electrons present on the nitrogen enters inside the ring enter inside the ring enter inside the ring enter inside the ring so whenever the electrons are entering the extra electrons are entering inside the ring how many electrons are participating in the conjugation students two here and each double bond already I have explained uh, comprises the two pi electrons so 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 2, 8 pi electrons. 8 pi electrons. Or 8 electrons. 8 electrons. Now in the benzene, 6 electrons are involved in the conjugation. Involved in the conjugation. Whereas Whenever it is converted into the aniline with the help of the nitration followed by reduction, as the amino group has been incorporated on the benzene nucleus and the nitrogen of amino group, uh, as it comprises the unpaid uh, electron and as it is directly attached to the benzene nucleus, uh, it is a ring activating group that is uh, whatever the non-bonding pair of electron which is present on the nitrogen of the amino moiety which is directly attached to the benzene nucleus uh, enter inside the ring. That is six electrons will be in the conjugation. That is totally eight, uh, six plus two, eight electrons will be in the conjugation. And we are well versed that is uh, in the previous class that is uh, the terms involved in the chromophore, that is terms involved in uh, the univisible spectroscopy, that is chromophore and oxochrome, I have really explained that conjugation is directly proportional to the absorption maximum, that is lambda max. So as the conjugation has been increased, so definitely the lambda max will increase. So the lambda max of uh, this aniline will be, lambda max of this aniline is uh, around uh, 280 nanometers. 280 nanometers. That is lambda max, which was 255 nanometers, which was associated with the benzene, has been increased to the 280 nanometers with the incorporation of aniline moiety on the benzene with the help of nitration followed by the reduction reaction. 
So what happened? What happened here? The absorption maxima has been shifted towards longer wavelength. So this effect, by virtue of which absorption maxima of unsaturated molecule shift towards the longer wavelength is called as bacteriophilic shift. And it is shifting towards longer wavelength means it is shifting towards a red color. Since it is shifting towards red color, this bacteriophilic shift is also called as a red shift. So this is about the, the first step. Bacteriophilic or the red shift. I hope you understood this. So do remember that students. Can conjugation is directly proportional to absorption maxima when the conjugation is directly proportional to absorption maximum as the conjugation increases definitely absorption maxima that is lambda max of the unsaturated molecule we are talking about the unsaturated molecules only because these are uh, the active molecules in the uv visible spectroscopy we are not going to talk about the saturated molecules right so what is the second shift Second shift is what is the second shift, friends? Second shift is hypsochromic or blue shift. Hypsochromic or blue shift. Hypsochromic or blue. So chromic or blue shift. Now, what is hypsochromic or blue shift? This hypsochromic or blue shift is exactly reverse to the bacteriochromic or a red shift. This is an effect by virtue of which absorption maxima of the molecule or unsaturated molecule shift towards shorter wavelength. Shift towards shorter wavelength. So, with your GR. So shift towards uh, shorter wavelength means shift towards blue side. So blue is there, right? Shift towards blue side. So that is the reason why hypsochromic shift is also called as blue shift. Because during this particular hypsochromic shift, what is happening? Uh, the absorption maxima of the unsaturated molecule is shifting towards uh, the shorter wavelength means shifting towards the blue radiation that is the reason this is also called as blue so this is about uh, the hypsochromic or blue shift let us uh, consider an, an example of this so for example for example let us take uh, the aniline let us take uh, the aniline So let me represent uh, the pi bonds in the similar fashion with uh, the blue color and then so aniline means benzene with NH2 we have discussed as the example in the bathochromic shift or red shift right. So now, how many electrons are involved in conjugation students in the aniline? How many electrons? Eight electrons already we have discussed. Eight electrons are involved in conjugation. Eight electrons are involved in conjugation. Eight electrons are involved in conjugation. Conjugation. Eight electrons are involved in conjugation. Now, whenever we treat uh, this particular aniline with uh, the acid, with acid, with acid, whenever we treat the aniline with acid, that is, whenever the aniline is uh, uh, is uh, are dissolved, you can say that. Whenever the aniline is dissolved in the acid, what happens to this? The non-bonding pair of electrons is present on the amino moiety. Non-bonding pair of electron is present on the amino moiety. 
and this non bonding pair of electron which is present on the amino moiety will grab the h plus ion towards itself grab the h plus ion towards itself grab the h plus ion towards itself now it is grabbing the h plus ion towards itself no doubt in that no doubt in that so benzene moiety there is no change in the benzene moiety it is similar nh2 so now nh2 is taking h plus right nh2 is taking place h plus means nh2 plus h converts to nh3 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 now the non bonding pair of electrons which are present on the nitrogen of amino moiety of this aniline is grabbing the h plus ion towards itself means it is donating its electrons to the h plus ions so since it is donating its electrons to the h plus ions h plus ions what is happening students it is losing the electrons that is nitrogen of amino moiety of uh, the aniline is losing the electrons so since it is losing the electrons and as the electrons are negatively charged pieces as it is losing the negatively charged pieces what will be the resulting charge on the nitrogen the resulting charge on the nitrogen is positive so positive 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 but there is no change in the benzene nucleus the three double bonds will remain as it is now how many electrons are involved in the conjugation students only six electrons are involved in conjugation six electrons are involved in conjugation because now there are no non bonding pair of electrons on the nitrogen because the nitrogen is grabbing the h plus ion towards itself whenever it is dissolved in the acid dissolved in the acid so only six electrons are involved in conjugation six electrons are involved in conjugation so since six electrons are involved in conjugation now the conjugation has been reduced conjugation has been reduced so initially what uh, is the absorption maxima of the aniline so previously we have discussed lambda max of aniline is uh, is uh, 280 nanometers 280 nanometers now whenever the conjugation has been reduced from 8 to 6 uh, now what happens is absorption maxima will reduce from 280 to 200 nanometers it is from 280 to 200 nanometers. It has been reduced. So, why it has been reduced? Because we are uh, blocking the electrons of the oxochrome. So, whenever the electrons on the oxochrome have been blocked, then uh, there is a there is a decrease in uh, the for electrons of the conjugation so when there is a decrease in the electrons of the conjugation so definitely the absorption maxima shift towards shorter wavelength shift towards shorter wavelength that is towards blue side that is the reason it is also called as blue shift pathochromic or sorry hypsochromic or blue shift right so next third shift what is the third shift the first two corresponds to absorption maxima, whereas the second two corresponds to intensity of absorption maxima. Follow me. So, what is that? First one is hyperchromic shift. Hyperchromic shift. This is an effect due to which intensity of absorption maxima decreases. Intensity. This is an effect due to which intensity of absorption maxima decreases. For example, let us take uh, the pyridine. Let us take uh, the pyridine. That is pyridine benzene with nitrogen. Benzene with nitrogen. 
cancel the clear problem cancel the clear problem yes sir very good right so very good it's a absorption that is intensity of absorption maxima epsilon equals to 2750 liter mole inverse centimeter inverse liter mole inverse centimeter inverse so whenever it is converted to whenever it is converted to 2 methyl pyridine 2 methyl pyridine second position so 2 methyl pyridine 2 methyl pyridine then uh, epsilon will decrease to 3560 liter mole inverse centimeter inverse mole inverse centimeter inverse so intensity liter mole inverse centimeter inverse increased increased to 3560 liter mole inverse centimeter. so increase increase in what intensity of absorption maximum now what could be the reason what could be the reason why the intensity of absorption maxima is increasing from pyridine to to methyl pyridine what could be the reason for that? so the here on this nitrogen 1 2 3 4 5 is electrons are present electrons are not present but this uh, particular nitrogen which is present uh, inside the ring benzene ring is sp2 hybridized nitrogen so since it is a sp2 hybridized nitrogen what it will do is it will pull the electrons from the ring thereby reducing the pi electron cloud thereby reducing the pi electron cloud so that is the reason that is the reason its epsilon that is intensity of the absorption maxima is 2750 liter mole inverse centimeter inverse but whenever it has been converted into methyl pyridine or two methyl pyridine then uh, epsilon has been increased from 2750 to 3560 this may be due to the fact that the methyl group is a plus i or plus m group plus i or plus m plus i means what in the clear plus m means meson so due to plus i or uh, plus m effect what it will do what it will do as it is adjacent to sp2 hybridized nitrogen it will donate its electron because it is plus i and plus m so that is the reason it will donate its electrons to this sp2 hybridized nitrogen now whenever uh, this methyl group is donating its electrons to the sp2 hybridized nitrogen atom nitrogen atom there is no need for the nitrogen to pull the electrons from the ring when there is no need for the nitrogen to pull the electrons from the ring then the pi electron cloud inside the ring will be remained as it is so that is the reason it is associated with the higher higher epsilon value and compared to the pyridine so this is about the hyperchromic shift hyperchromic shift so what is uh, the next one students hyperchromic shift is finished so or uh, do remember always that uh, first two, two shifts that is pathochromic pathochromic or red shift and hypsochromic or blue shift both corresponds to absorption maximum whereas third one hyperchromic and hypochromic corresponds to intensity of absorption it will be confused intensity of absorption so what is left students we are left with only one shift what is that uh, hypochromic shift so fourth one is hypochromic
So hypochromic shift is exactly reverse to the hyperchromic shift. Exactly reverse to hypo hyperchromic shift. Hypo is reverse to hyperchromic shift. That is, this is an effect due to which the intensity of absorption maxima decreases. Decreases. In the case of hyperchromic increases. Hyper means increase. Hypo means decrease and absorption maxima. Intensity of absorption maxima. For example, if we take uh, biphenyl. If we take a biphenyl, so this is the biphenyl. So its intensity of absorption maxima is around 19,000 19, liter mole inverse centimeter inverse. Whenever it is converted to whenever it is converted to methyl biphenyl methyl biphenyl methyl biphenyl then epsilon of this particular methyl biphenyl was uh, Reduced from 19,000 to 10,500 liter mole inverse centimeter. Yes, it has been reduced. So 19,000 to 10,500. Now this is due to the distortion in the geometry of the bipinal shifts. So initially, the geometry of the bipinal is uh, very good. So when uh, the geometry, there is no change in the geometry of the biphenyl, then intensity of absorption maximum was more, that is 19,000 liter mole inverse centimeter inverse. But uh, with the introduction of the methyl group uh, in the biphenyl moiety, the geometry, that is, there is a distortion in the geometry. So due to the distortion in the geometry, the Decrease in the intensity of the absorption maxima takes place from 19,000 to 10,500 liter mole inverse centimeter inverse. So this is about the hypochromic shift. These are the portions. So now, in order to simplify, I will depict, I will depict or illustrate. Uh, all these effects with the help of one figure. With the help of one figure only, we can explain uh, all these four shifts. So that figure goes like this. Figure or graph, whatever we call it is. So what we need to do is, we have to take uh, lambda max on x-axis, but epsilon max on y axis on y axis right lambda max on x axis then means absorption maxima and what is this intensity of absorption maxima now let us say that uh, this is the hump formed per one molecule so as we move what happens to the lambda max increases as we move up what will happen to the epsilon max increases now now shift to towards shift to towards the longer wavelength shift to towards red shift to towards longer wavelength what is it called students this is called as bathochromic or red Next, shift towards shorter wavelength, that is, shift towards blue, shift towards blue, shift towards blue. So, what is it? It is ipsochromic, ipso or blue shift. Next, increase in the intensity of uh, absorption maxima 
intensity of absorption increase in the intensity of absorption next time. what is it uh, hyperpolar so this is hyper Next, decrease in the intensity of absorption maxima. What is this? This is hypochromation. So, four shifts in the single. Right. So, with the help of this figure, we can easily remember uh, uh, the first bathochromic or red shift, uh, the second hypsochromic or blue shift, hyperchromic shift, and hypochromic shift. I hope you understood this. So, thanks for watching this video.